Okay guys, today I'm going to show you just a little bit more information about the primary cave reel that we saw from the previous video. What you saw was the knot that I was using and how to tie that. And what I wanted to show you is how to make it and for sure why we're going to use it. So just to illustrate the point, this is the primary reel generally as they come from the factory. And what you can see is that obviously there is a hole to attach the double ender, which is kind of cool. But one of the drawbacks is that depending on which way round you put the sliding gate, you can end up in a situation where the bolt snap can come away and of course the reel can fall off you. So it's not such a big deal at the start of a dive, of course, you're going to be deploying the primary reel fairly soon. But what you want to try to do is make sure that when you put this in, you of course put it the right way round. So it's not a case of this way. You actually have to come and clip the double ender from the top down and now what happens is that as you rotate it there really isn't any way easily for this to come off you've got to work pretty hard for that to come off so it's not the end of the world um, but one consideration is that of course it's connected and there's no way to cut this if you for example were to get stuck in a cave or a wreck people will tell you you need to reach back and cut well if you have one of these attached to you while you've gone in there that's partly the problem that you've run into and we're probably in the wrong place for that. So if we just have a look, the nice thing with this is it doesn't really matter which way around you clip. I haven't really got a lot of chances to get this caught on anything to open up. So that's really why I like it. It just saves my brain having to work out which way to, to clip it in. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that now, okay? So, come back to my now famous rope. We're going to start off with about 25 centimeters. You can actually do with a little bit less, um, but 25 just makes it easier to cut. So, that's through here. Same idea, just to cinch the end. Okay, cool. And here we have it. So what we're going to try to do now is we're going to tie the fisherman's knot but through the gap here. So up through the loop and you guys remember the knot so I don't need to go into too much detail about that. I'm going to get one side to be the short locking side and then all I'm doing now is I'm just going to loosen this, tighten this, sorry, to create how much of a, uh, a loop I want to make. Just check the two lines are parallel, which they are. Again, what I'm going to do now, just going to tighten this up and then trim off the ends. And it's the same thing, just gonna push that knot into the side so she won't come undone. And then we have it. So that's now taking the brain power out of working out which way around to clip it.